um, Villa. Villa. And Maureen's a broker. She does ongoing training. Uh, another thing, by going there, she actually can help supply you if you're new starting out and actually giving you some leads. Actually, anybody that wants to go there and really work, you're going to get business. So, um, yeah, I work. I'm an agent here. I'm actually in the office. Marines in the office. And if you want to be an investor, wholesaler, traditional real estate agent, whatever, all you got to do is come into this office and you'll, there's business here. And a lot of people do not take advantage of it. No. We're launching our new tech, which is going to be uh, something that is extraordinary to our agents where they have lead sources being sent right to their phone to them personally. So it's really yeah. uh, innovative and it's new and we're making it happen. So, yeah. So uh, I asked her to do a, uh, uh, a meetup uh, later this month, just talking about the advantages of getting a real estate license, both as an investor and as just a regular retail agent too. So uh, that's one you don't want to miss. And then as an investor, I can't tell you how uh, important it is to be able to comp a property properly. And you got that access to or as an investor. If you've got access to the money, you <laughs> The MLS is an incredible place to play. So, so, yep. So I think we got it. We can open it up to questions. Um, and if you got value out of this, you know, ask some more people to come to our meetings and leave okay. a comment. Can show you the YouTube channel real quick? Yeah, that would be good because okay, hold on. Wealth of information. It okay. keeps it too. So. So this is a YouTube channel. A lot of these videos are only 10 minutes long, but they get into it, you know. Uh, I can't see it that well. Maybe you can just read off some of the topics there. Um, sure. Okay. So you've got, uh, you know, how to shift your real estate investing game. Um, the CPA and investor get your, gets your investor tax breaks. Um, let's see, health tips for real estate investors in today's market. Um, uh, Michigan real estate investor shows how to shift in today's market, you know, shift your game. Great tips on how to use uh, the app combined with texting to uh, find your deals. New investors, good advice on how to get started in real estate. Um, I mean, there's just so many. You'll see uh, how to do cold calls. Yeah, how to do cold calls. You'll see where he's got various different, you know, key items. Focus on your real estate investing um, to have... Yes. Uh, let's see. So, uh, you know, he's got Todd here, you know, uh, talking about uh, nine minutes of advice for new real estate investors. I mean, just various tips and tricks and, and uh, you know, tips on flipping houses, uh, how to fix them. You know, it's just anything that these two uh, have spoken about, have learned about over you know, many, many years in real estate investing, um, they're sharing their knowledge, and it's all here recorded. We bring in a public adjuster. You've never worked with a public adjuster, the values of that. Yeah. Probate attorney. Um, had two or three attorneys come in. So right. anyway, it's, it's a good title companies coming in and talking. They're all there. Probated so, properties, you name it, it's on here. Yeah. And there's no charge to go in and watch it. It's just there to help you. That's great. Okay, guys. Any questions? I have a question. Okay. Sorry if I'm asking too many questions. No, you're not. Um, it seems like I live in Ann Arbor, so um, I and I attend the Ann Arbor Real Estate Investing Group. Mm -hmm. so there's a lot of people that are wanting to be investors, but not really doing it. And I see a lot of activity in Detroit. So I was wondering, is, is there no wholesaling occurring in like some of the, maybe like Ann Arbor or like, is there a reason why people aren't wholesaling in places like Ann Arbor? 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, a stupid question. I don't know. Yeah, the, well, in Ann Arbor, you could just throw it on the MLS and they'll sell, right? I mean, the market's just so hot. And um, I mean, yeah, it's just. It's not worth the effort. It's not worth the effort of trying to find that one deal when you could go find a bunch. I guess you, you know, if I found a deal in Ann Arbor, but it's got to, you know, it's got to be a deal. I mean, it's got to be 70% value, you know, minus that, you know, they'll just sell it. I mean, you might get one, but I'm sure. I hey, Todd, is the Dirty House Buyers Group still? Yeah, yeah. Doing some meetings or doing some of that, aren't they? All yeah. selling out in that area? Yeah, I think Brian knows them too, right, Brian? Dirty House? Actually, I've never attended one of those, but yeah, I have heard of it, yeah. Yeah, they're good guys. I know them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, have a, I have a question. Yeah. Um, now, I know um, uh, most of you uh, uh, seasoned investors on this, um, on, this, on this call are from Michigan. Now, I'm from New Jersey, but I um, – I try to do. I'm trying to do business in um, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and also Michigan as well. So, um, if I had a deal, and say for some reason I get stuck, would any one of you be interested in um, partnering with me, partnering with me, in any of these other states? In Michigan, yes, for sure. Okay. <laughs> you probably need to. What you want to do in those other states is you want to find out where the wholesale groups meet. Uh, mm -hmm. Like here, that's a renegade meeting. Right. Uh, um, there's, and you want to be able to find the wholesalers. So you want to go looking for the wholesalers in whatever market you've got to deal in. Okay. Oh, okay. Because that's, that's going to be your exit. Oh, okay. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. And if you get a, if you got a lead, like a, a, a lead that sounds good, feel free to reach out to me before you try to lock it up. Uh, I don't mind you locking it up over the phone or um, because I might be able to give you some insight, you know, because the information you might be finding online, especially in the Detroit area. Right. Uh, you know, it's all block to block. You can't be, you can't do that standard formula minus repairs minus this seventy percent things like that. It is not. It is block to block. So, and it depends on. It's a huge difference if it's a flip or if it's a rental, and things like that. So, yeah, if you get someone and they seem motivated, and you you're getting all the pillars, you know, of, uh, you know, and you're getting a price, feel free to reach out. I could go out there and look at the property and either get it under contract or report back to you. And um, there's other guys that could do that too. So. So, so Brian, you asked about buying in Ann Arbor. Um, sure. One of the ways that you could do that is like Maureen's got software where she can go in and pull all the out of state owners in a market. Uh, she can pull uh, absentee owners uh, you, I'm sure there's rental properties there where, um, you know, with a moratorium and some of the courts are, uh, so you want to tackle that. So for the average wholesaler, you know, he's going to be working off streets and he's going to be working on riding up and down the street and different ways of finding it. It gets tougher in the suburbs to do that. So you've got to go to a different source like where, more like Maureen and being able to find so because with her software she'll tell you who's all the delinquent tax owners are uh, she can tell you who's uh, the foreclosures are she can tell you who the out-of-state owners are so you know I mean it's she's got some great proprietary software that'll pull that stuff for you and then maybe you work with the agent that's under her or whatever you know so yeah. I'm just saying there's ways to get the suburb stuff, but it's more work. <laughs> but, but mostly uh, Ann Arbor is going to be, if you get deals there, they're going to be flips. I would say most of the time, unless yeah. you like, the oh, yeah. high, which I know you don't, you, you like the higher price rentals. 
um, you know, that you can refinance and burr them and things like that. I'm not saying you don't like them. We like them, but you might want to buy three or four other properties for the same price of that one. It might be a better ROI for you all the way around, you know, but. I've just seen some astronomical flips in Ann Arbor. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wow. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's worth considering. And then you could always, when they go on the MLS, if they've been on the MLS for 60 days or more, you should make some low ball offers. Okay. You know? Yeah. Piss some people off. Yeah. Make some real low offers. <laughs> but they'll get back with you eventually. So. At least it's an offer. Yeah, exactly. And they were. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a uh, question. Um, let's say like if you like be, me being new to this whole real estate thing and you get in, you get a situation where um, it's, excuse me, hold on one second. Sorry about that. That's right. So you get in a, in a, uh, a situation where um, you may have a um, a property, like property uh, that uh, you might get a motivated seller. They, they want a certain amount of cash, but um, you it's not exactly a wholesale deal. It's not. It's probably not a wholesale deal. It's more like a a buy and hold deal. And being a new investor, how do I uh, get? Um, being new, how do I um, get financing for that? Like, you know, because I know like a lot of like hard money lenders or uh, private lenders and things like that don't usually work with new people that's new to real estate. So how do I uh, try to secure financing for those types of deals? One, you, first you try to have the seller finance it, you know, if they right. can. Right. You know, where, and if, I mean, I'm sure you could find a private lender I know William's a private lender, but if you're brand new, you're going to have to put a lot of money down. It's going to have to be a, they got to be protected, you know? Right. Um, and most private lenders might even educate you on why they're not going to lend to you. That might be worth, you know, might be very valuable to you also. Um, or you could go find a uh, experienced investor in that area and see if they could partner up with you on it. Maybe they could go get the private money and and do it that way. After you do that um, a few times and you start learning and you start building kind of, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of building a um, portfolio, I guess, of, of, of um, what you've been doing and things like that and that it's been going well, you know, you'll find someone that's going to, take that chance on you. When I first got in the fix and flipping, I um, had, I bought, I found, I, you know, I, that's how I started, man. I, I did all the work and I went and looked for the deal and um, I split everything, you know, so I had to do that a few times. I couldn't find a private lender that would lend me any money. So that's just my thoughts. That makes sense a little bit. Yeah. yeah, perfectly. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. It makes sense for you to go grab a real estate license too. Okay. Because then you've got the investors you can take the deal to. And um, if it's a really good deal, there might even be a prop uh, private. And, and when you're looking for a private investor or private lending, someone to do some lending for you, um, instead of one of the big companies, um, you might get an individual. They might have high interest rate, and they might have, it, it seems like crazy numbers. But in the beginning, that's what you got to do. As long as at the end of the day, you got to see, does this make sense? Do you make money? And, are you, and you're, you're learning, you know. And, um, and again, this is just my opinion. It doesn't mean it's right or wrong, but... And then as you get more experience, then those rates see the, the rates, you'll see those rates going down and you'll okay. get more experience and you'll be able to go somewhere else. You know, either they, they'll 
see you're doing well and the rates are going down or you might be your credit might be great and you might be going through a different doing it a different way but sometimes speed and convenience and paying a little extra is better than going through a private lender that's doing like four appraisals and 10 inspections and and everyone you know and then at the end of the day they change all the terms on you and things like that so you gotta you know when you find someone good and at the end of the day as long as you know speed and convenience sometimes works also Any other questions? Okay. I think we'll wrap it up, guys. We really appreciate you coming on. Uh, if you want to get hold of me um, and you want copies of this and all the information, uh, there's my uh, email, moppin.mark at gmail. Make sure you put the dot in. And there's Todd's uh, email. Yep. yep. You yep. want to talk to Todd, text him. <laughs> <laughs> and if you need a dumpster, call me. <laughs> text me. Yeah, you, if you call him, you can talk trash. It's a nice red dumpster. Yeah. <laughs> so. Awesome. Thank you, Tisha everyone yeah thanks for being on william william's a private lender he's putting his go into the chats and you'll see william um he's doing private lending is he on my does he want to give his phone number and contact yeah he, are you you want to say it william you're on mute you got to turn it off. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's like, uh, like my website's uh, dumbexperts.com. Uh, I deal with um, a few private money uh, companies, which uh, they're pretty good. Uh, the Kogo Capital, and there's another one uh, that I'm kind of looking into partnering. Uh, it's like uh, uh, for regular business there that you're looking uh, to invest in. I also have a contact. Uh, He's uh, like a, the largest source of uh, money uh, lending in, in the area. His name is uh, Kevin Pappert. Okay. Thanks. That's great. The Thank company you. name again? Something. <clears throat> uh, William Jaroski. Uh, my name is like um, website, stomachsrift.com. Uh, the company I mm -hmm, is like uh, partnered with is uh, Kogo Capital. It's like a, like a private money lending company. Great. Time I'll just make two separate bowls. Well, we just, we just, huh? We just change. Um. Guys, I think we're good. So we're going right. to shut it down. Thanks thank so much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thanks. Thanks. Todd. That was great. Yeah, thank, thanks, for, thanks for having him. Thanks, Mark and Todd. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.